Hey, everybody, welcome back. We're coming back to Larry Bird. We are. He's insane. In what regard? Well, when we did the last video of him, I was like... That was Sam's reaction. Literally, you can go back and watch it. I'm Phil. That's Sam, as I just said. We're Bars and Barbells as a team. And we did, we did Larry Bird's Ultimate Mixtape. Yes. That was mind-blowing for both of us. I was... Familiar with the name, Larry Bird had seen some highlights, but really hadn't been exposed to his full catalog yeah, of skills. Yeah, no, me either. Definitely not. And I'm sure there's so much more to witness from him. But you guys were saying that we need to check out his trash talking because we got some some glimpses of that in the Ultimate Mixtape yeah. uh, of him basically saying he was going to hit a shot from the same spot after a timeout and going and doing it. Yeah. Saying he was going to play the fourth quarter with his left hand and scoring like 27 points with it. <laughs> and uh, so that was Larry Bird uh, examples, I guess, of something that can be said by him and backed up, backing up the trash talk is key. Yeah, he's wild. He's wild. <laughs> That's all Sam has to say. He's wild. Let's, he blew my mind. Let's find out how wild he is with the trash talk in this one. Just remember, guys, if you want to hit the like button for us, we appreciate that because it helps with our algorithm, but it also helps you in getting some more Larry Bird on your channel if yes. you enjoy that. So if you want to do that now, we'd appreciate it. If you want to leave us a comment, we always appreciate insights as well. If you want to join us on the journey that we're on, the community that we've built has been over 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. So we have been so so grateful for all the support yes. if you want to join us we'd love to have you yeah if you have any suggestions for other videos too drop them in the comments below and if you can hear some screaming children in the background sorry not our fault it's a party <laughs> today apparently but let's party with some larry bird right yes. now in the last the last play he says uh to james worthy he says you guys don't have to worry about it i'm gonna go right over there, that corner <laughs> He said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, and game made over. It. It's like, are you effing kidding me? I told you what I was going to do, and I did. <laughs> Shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics and the Dominique Boston Garden. Wilkins. And, and Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch just call me Holmes? <laughs> and, and, What's up, Holmes? He, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the breaking that pitch, and I jump up, and I throw it down on him. I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talk trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. Charles Barkley. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, <laughs> what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> Disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you I, put I, on I, him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He never told Robert Reedy the other stay there. He should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 points. And you know, Larry Burr ain't never played no great defense. He's like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. But I'm not wearing about guard. You I said, man, shoot it in the face. Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry on Larry Bird and uh, and said and said and said take a look at that and Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row and just basically basically said to him and we all heard it that you're out of your league or he'd say Danny give me the ball or DJ give me the ball I got this guy in the torture chamber down here why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it <laughs> the ball went to Larry and Isaiah was all out of out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? 
If I looked around, he just stood there and held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Too late. He <laughs> was the originator of getting in your face. He just loves to tell people what he's going to do. <laughs> it's almost like he says it because he knows they can't stop him. Well, clearly they couldn't. Yeah, fair. And, you know, he's like, okay, I'm going to go to that corner. I'm going to hit the three. This is a play that we're running. I'm telling you this in advance. Just so you have a chance. But you're still not going to stop me. You're still not going to stop me. And that's that's crazy, too. Like, I think they were saying with Isaiah Thomas there that, like, Larry caught the ball. And he's like, why isn't anybody guarding me? <laughs> like, says it out loud to, like, to, like Isaiah Thomas. Like, why aren't you guarding me? <laughs> and then he waits for him to come. Then he shoots the three and lets it go in. It's like the disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, why are you guys putting the white guy on me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him. He shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. <laughs> Larry Bird. Oh, nice. There was a certain confidence you had because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way, and he delivered. The double team in Bird, Larry, fake, fall away. Do you remember? Well, you had the Bird night. I had the Bird Northern night. Northern yeah, Northern. yeah, that was that was a tough night, man. That, that, you know, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But did you, nobody was guarding Bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. Yeah, but when when a guy is literally coming up to court, calling his shots. Uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over the, across the three. And you're listening to him. That's, that's a tough filler. But, okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Andy Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best <laughs> film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it was so a, good. It was the greatest film session ever because that, back then you didn't have, you know, you watched the real game and just went, you know, with a video. And Mike rewound the celebration 20 times. <laughs> he just kept, re not the shot, he just kept rewinding it, showing the guys, you remember, they were giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, yeah that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff <laughs> gives each other a high five. And our film session was 20 minutes of that. <laughs> So it, it, that's so wild. <laughs> the other team is celebrating him yeah. dropping buckets on them. <laughs> like this but guy at that so point, good. it's like, what else can you do? This guy's so good. He's just calling it out that they're laughing that hard on the bench that they're falling over. <laughs> that's wild. Uh, Godwell's like, when he's that good, that's what's happening. What other choice do you have? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the thing that's really cool about this video as well is that these are all Hall of Famers yeah. in the NBA. So that's Doc Rivers. He's, you know, uh, one of the most well-known coaches in the NBA, um, has been for the past little while, but obviously played in the NBA as well. You have Clyde Drexler, who is like one of the best of the best. And, uh, you know, you've had many, many Hall of Famers come through and just say how good he is. He could do anything he, he wanted to. And that, I think, really adds to the legend of Larry Bird, yeah. right? When you have all these amazing players that are talking so highly of you, and they're saying... You know, this guy was out on the court with me and saying what he what he was going to do and just did it time and time and time again. And you couldn't stop him. And these are like the best of the best that are saying that about yeah. you. It's pretty high. high yeah, praise. for sure. Definitely is a tribute to his his talent. For yeah. sure. It, was, it wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it was... Uh, 
I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. And when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, just, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. And when he ran by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Just see how hot I am. All right, he runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench who can guard me? He goes, well, nobody out here can. Frank looked down the bench and goes, no. <laughs> Uh, he'll look at you like, hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to grab me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see this. <laughs> and look at Bird. Person did deal. Look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while, and we've always had run-ins. But uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. Tie game. They called the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to the time out. I'm going for a play. And I tried this one. We're going to run. All right. Uh, then as you get the ball, you go over here and uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin. Then you go to the corner. And why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? <laughs> no. After the time out, we, we walked back on the court. And Larry was going down to his position. So he tells the baby, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five, and Bird has the basketball. Look out. Two seconds on the clock. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the little sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute to was complaining to the refs Julius and I was complaining to the refs and the next time down the court it got in my face I was up 38 to 6 that's how I summarize it the 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros including Larry Bird and they're in the warm-ups and a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end and Michael Jordan went down to chase it the ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird and Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. i got a pull hamstring. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing, but I, he said, I'm going to tell you what, since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. <laughs> so you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. playing uh, Washington in Washington one night and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot but KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Oh, we saw this one. Larry came back to the bench yeah. and, you know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, I'm going to go the same uh, spot, do the same thing. Hey, guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot and I'm going <laughs> to kick it in. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by a one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the Celtics winner. 
Boy, this is something else. Incredible. Oh. Not once, Burn but twice. At the buzzer. Why not? He's crazy, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think listen, watching this too, all the players that he's uh, that are they're referencing discussing Bird, they were all talking about him as though it was all fun. Yeah. They're not like mad that he was no. you know, talking trash or no. anything. It was more like a being out on the playground and like, you know, I'm going to put this one on you. And then you do it. And you're like, I told you. Yeah. Right? It's not like I hate you. I don't like no, you. No, it's or like competitive, like but like healthy competition. Yeah. Not like a lot of negativity or toxicity or anything like that. Yeah. And like uh, almost in the way that both players should be feeding off of it. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, I'm talking trash to you and then you talk trash back to me <laughs> and I'm like, Oh no, I'm not going to let him get away with that. I'm coming back at him. And then, you know, you come back at me on the yeah. next one again. But it's not right? like real beef. Yeah. And it just raises the competition level between both of us, which I think is what this used to be about. Even like yeah. Michael Jordan, we've heard similar stuff about him. You know, he was always talking trash and going at people. Yeah. Like and, pushing people to be better. And yeah. Stuff like that. And yeah. like, you know, I think even for Michael, from what we've seen in the last dance and stuff, right, was he was kind of doing that to motivate himself almost, right? I've said this, now I'm going to back it up type thing. And I think even maybe like Kobe Bryant might be somebody that would, if they had like a trash talking video or like, you know, being confident enough to say you're going to do something and then doing it, he might have some stuff like that that's similar um, in terms of the competitive level. I feel like he was in a similar mold, but I think he was probably the last one. Like it died after that. Yeah, that like, you know, he kind of was carrying along that era a little bit. And then post that era, I feel like it's all just died. And like yeah. now people like if they're talking trash, it's like, it's just nonsense, you know. It's not like, you know, all in good fun, as I was saying in the beginning. Yeah. Like, we're here to have a good time, play some ball, see who's the best competitor. There's so many other factors, I think, that are involved with the NBA and, and sports in general now that yeah. makes me reminisce on this time and seeing the camaraderie of all these players and how they, you know, they're joking with each other. And you can tell they all, like, actually yeah. like each other because yeah. it's a community, right? It's funny, like, some of these interviews are, like, way later, right? And they're still just, like, reminiscing and laughing yeah. and joking about it and, like... Like, you know, like you said, it's all like good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like that maybe represented the game as a whole, you know, and like why people wanted to be a part of the basketball community and like, you know, inspiring kids and making fans want to be a part of it as well. Like for me, I used to be a fan of, you know, basketball, right? I used to watch quite a bit of it and, you know, the game's changed so much. I just, I'm not interested because it's, it's full of nonsense. Like I said now, yeah. but reflecting on this, I'm like, oh, yeah. it's such a cool time to, you know. Yeah. It's like a good environment. Competing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, any thoughts that you want to add? Yeah. I thought it was really cool to see. Like, obviously this is like long before my time of really watching basketball and I had heard the name, but I didn't know much about him before we watched that initial video. And like you said, I think it's just really cool to see how, how he's held in such high regard from people who also have a really high reputation, yeah. right? And obviously he was incredible at what he does. I also think it's really cool because like people mentioned that like, you know, he wasn't like crazy fast. It wasn't like he was like, you know, like anything like supernatural in terms of a specific skill. It was like he just like knew how to put that ball in the back of the net and it was like a smart player, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Larry Bird trash talking. If you did, yes. you know what to do now. You just hit that like button. If you want to come back and check out more sports videos in the future, you can hit the subscribe button. We also have a playlist of sports videos up on the channel, all different kinds of sports. We got, you know, fighting, UFC. We've got boxing. We've got basketball. We've tennis. Got, hmm? Tennis. Tennis. Yeah, the weighted, the, or was it the women's? That's men versus women. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About. I just remembered the tennis. We've definitely not, not done much tennis on the, on the <laughs> channel, but uh, I don't know if that one will be up yet. But yeah, that's one of them. Uh, we all got all different kinds of sports. We also do music and comedy. So if you want to stick around for some great entertainment, we'd love to have you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on our next video, which will be tomorrow, where we drop two videos every single day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.